Número 9. Ok, this is a good one. This is to develop. Mm -hmm. Gordon, you want to give it a go? Joder, yo diría desarrollar. 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 Double A. R. Definitely, yeah. Desarrollar. And then the double L is a J. Like your, your uh, J mm -hmm. sound, okay? Yeah. Desarrollar. So the double L is a, is a J sound here in, in and received the, the pronunciation. Y. The Y and the, the double y. L yeah. have the same pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Again, that's why many people mix them up. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yo mm -hmm. llamo. Yo llamo. Yerno. Yerno, yeah. Mm -hmm. If something, uh, the Y is stronger than the double L. The double L. Mm. If something. So yeah. the opposite of English, because in English the Y is a Y. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not even the Y. Mm -hmm. But for us it's strong. Mm -hmm. Okay, número 10. Okay. So, I would say caja. Caja, caja. Mm -hmm. La caja, the box. Caja. Caja, box. Caca, poo. Different thing, yeah, yeah, different thing. So, and lots and lots of people will pronounce that as caca. Okay, so you yes. got it. Caja, caja. Also, a very good word is the word daughter or son. Mm hmm. But for some reason, it's uh, hard. Because, because of that it's got age. the age. So, people see the age and they go, no, no, no. The age is silent in mm -hmm. Spanish. You don't pronounce it like when you say our. What, the hour, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't pronounce the H there. Um, you only pronounce the H when it goes after C and it makes it CHE sound, like in English when you have CHEST. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so we have the same. Uh, mm, ACHA. ACHA. Mm, I can't think of words now with CHE. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the CHE sound. We don't have KE sound with that, it's always CHE. Because mm -hmm. in English you have to, you've got chemical and chest. Mm -hmm. Chevere. Chevere. Yeah, so we have, it's always che for us. Mm -hmm. um, but the the rest of the times, I think the rest of the times, yeah, mm -hmm. only apart from that, is silent. Even if it's in the middle of a word, like zanahoria, um, which we call H intercalada. Mm -hmm. Silent. Uh, but the, what were we talking about? Why am I talking about the H? Ah, oh, hijo. Hijo. I was like, why? I'm talking about the H and I the can't word is caja. <laughs> yes, hijo and hija. Hijo, hija. So forget about the H and go, like, imagine if it's I, J, O, I, J, A. Número 11. Okay. So this is. Do you have a word for this? Like somebody from the US? Um, no. Not, not well, a American, translation. Would say. American, we American. would have to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is specific. Mm -hmm. so. Estadounidense. Do it slowly. Yes, I was going to do it slowly. Excuse me. Estadounidense. Estadounidense. I mean, how could there fit any more vowels into that word? One, two, three, four, five. Well, it's a long word. Uh, yeah. Did you, did you count how many were there? Were? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. I mean, there are only nine letters in the word. Yeah, in, like every, in every syllable, there's one. I know. You have to pronounce every syllable. That's the most important thing. Always pronounce them. Don't leave them out. So that's why you hear Cynthia saying, oh. Yeah, even though when it's... When it's Estadounidense, yes. When it's said quickly, you don't really hear it. It becomes Estadounidense, a Estadounidense. But it's there. Estado mm -hmm. Muy bien. And uh, number 12. No, this one, number 12. Mm. Fun fact about this word that apparently, so they say, it sh it, it's wrong. It's wrong, uh, yeah. It should be infortunadamente. I have never heard anyone ever say infortunadamente but mm. Mm. so yeah, how would you say this Gordon? I would say desafortunadamente muy bien desafortunadamente mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's that that RT sound is a very specific sound to Spanish 
because we would say desafortuna, fortuna, fortunadamente. Yeah. 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 But this is desafortu, fortunadamente. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, desafortunadamente. And number 13, last one. We're finishing on 13, are we? You want to do one I'm more? Lucky for some. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the extra one. Okay. <laughs> If you have the G, U with the umlaut, the two dots, that means the U has to be pronounced. Yeah. So this one would be ver, remember that the V is a B, ver, gwen, tha, like a W, vergüenza, mm -hmm. vergüenza. Mm -hmm. Vergüenza. Vergüenza, yeah. Or bilingüe, bilingüe, bilingual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm has the same, has the G, mm -hmm. U, with the dieresis. And the extra one for Gordon, so that to avoid. we don't end in... This is a very good word. Okay, so how do you say this word? Gordon, go for it. Okay, me. so I would say... Pronunciación. Pronunciación, muy bien. In, it, in and of itself, it's a difficult word to pronounce. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So, pronunciación. Pronunciación. And then the emphasis goes on the O because it's got the tilde, so that helps. Mm -hmm. Pronunciación. 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 Yeah. I think I mentioned this before, but I, I learned my Spanish originally in Mexico, yes. where they don't have the th sound. Yeah. And, then, and then I started to knock about with Cynthia. Yeah. And I was fascinated with how many times her tongue came out of her mouth when she was talking. I was like, because I'd never seen that before in, in Mexico. The tongue didn't come out of the mouth. <laughs> I'm not like a lizard, you know. <laughs> no, but, it, but it's... <laughs> and, I, and I used to think, whoa, man, that's, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of tongue out of the mouth. You know, you probably have to drink, have sips of water. It probably dries out. You know, that's what I was thinking to myself. I've had people say say before, like so many times in the past, I, I can't do Spanish from Spain because the C is really difficult. And he's like, what's your language originally? English. Okay. So you don't say think. You don't say thought. You don't say... <laughs> you don't have that. <laughs> it's just so difficult. It's a difficult sound. I just say sink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots and of sort. No, no, lots of people put an F. I think. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you you can do it. You can do it if you yeah. want to. If not, you've got the um, Latin American way. Also, we you, we have that pronunciation in the in the south, in some areas, where they would say pronunciación. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got the option, mm -hmm. and you can choose the one you like the yeah. most. The way to choose is where do you spend most of your time. And what, how do they use the language in that area? That's probably the best yeah. way of, of mm -hmm. measuring it. Or if you've got friends in Latin America, then go for the Latin American version of how to pronounce sure. things. If you like going to Spain, then go for the th. Yeah. Yeah. It really stands out when if, if you if you want to learn Spanish from Spain, because many people go for the Latin American one. Mm. Um, sometimes because it's easier or it's more linked to similar to English sometimes. Yeah. But when you're in Spain and when people speak with the th, it really stands out when, when foreigners yeah. speak with the th, it's like, wow, it's like extra effort yeah. <laughs> that we, you mm -hmm. know, that we don't. And, and here in Spain, um, the difference between having a really good accent or having really good grammar, the accent always wins in, ter in terms of how people view that. People yeah, like to so. hear a good accent and they'll always mention a good accent. Uh, where, whereas you can, you know, you can have fantastic Spanish, but you're not pronouncing very well, and it doesn't have the same impact. So there you are. Mm. Just that's something I've noticed here in Spain. People will compliment you on your accent. Maybe because we, because when we listen, that's what we pay attention to. Yeah. Right? Nice sound, and it's also yeah. it's a compliment to the person, isn't it? Yeah. When you're copying them, so. and you go, oh, wow, wow, they really got the accent. It's a, it's a compliment, you know. Yeah. 
Entonces, so that there you are, 14 pronunciations. How many did you get? Close. <laughs> it's difficult because you say it and then you hear Cynthia say it and then you think, well, how, how close was it? And you say, oh, it? I said that. Yeah, I said that, yeah. <laughs> and now, a short word from our sponsor. <laughs> I want to meet this sponsor. Do you want to do the sponsor? I want to meet. Oh, you want to meet? Oh, yeah. The sponsor. Never met him or her. <laughs> so let me tell you. Let me hold the book. You hold, so the, book. Doing, you hold the book. Yeah. So I'll be doing something. Let then. me let me tell you uh, what happened. To, we received an email from somebody who was asking us to promote uh, their service, and it's actually a good service, which I'm going to do a Gordon's diary on. But he said, and I'm willing to pay for the promotion. Uh, you know, I want you just to you know, bring it out in the video and blah blah blah. And I said to him, look. Said we've never ever promoted other materials like and, and received money for it. We've never done that since the beginning. Never wanted to, really. If we find something that's good, we'll we'll promote it for, because it's good, and we wanted to help you to get good resources. But I said to him, we don't we don't promote things on our uh, on our um, channel. Sounds a bit like, like bugger off, no? <laughs> no, but and then I thought. Mm, hang on a minute. Every every video we finish, oh. and now a note from our sponsor. So, <laughs> so put, except when we're jokingly sponsoring our, you know, promoting our own materials, <laughs> but not not other people. Uh, okay, not okay. other people. So what we were going to promote this for beginners. This is a lesson, and this is Victor's adventures in Spain. If you haven't seen the I book, the... yeah, lovely, yeah, oh. very nice, Cynthia. <laughs> All those the 90s, hostess with the most. The nineties program that I used yeah. to watch. Uh -huh. the, the Fair Price. Fair Price. What, What's it called? Whatever? Fair Price. I don't know. Precio justo. I... And they would have a nice even. The woman would go. Yeah. And you can win this beautiful this book hat <laughs> and this game, this beautiful book <laughs> this beautiful red book. So Victor's Adventures. It starts off really for beginners. It's a book for beginners. And then it's a bilingual story, so you can read it in English, you can read it in Spanish, then you, you can test yourself out, read the Spanish and convert it into English, yeah. or read the English and convert it into Spanish, even more difficult. Um, and it takes you to about, where, what would you say, about, about intermediate level. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, little by little, the book becomes more difficult yeah, as we go. Yes, but I mean, in, in an organic way, not just like... So little Absolutely. by little. In an organic way. And what happens is as we as we introduce new things into the story, we also give you um, exercises and yes. an explanation. That's so, why the book is that's why it's thick. so thick. Because it's not just all of this is not reading. It's a lot of exercises. It took us three years to do that. Explaining. Book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's I think it's um it's also a big, big book. I mean yeah, Look nice and you can you can write in it's it and big. everything, make notes. Yeah, the um, it's not a pocket book. No, <laughs> it's not for the train. <laughs> it can it, it has audios, free yes. audios that that uh, of Cynthia reading the story. It has audios on hypnosis. It has audios on vocab building. I mean, it's a whopper book. That's why it took three years. Uh, did Carlos? Uh, no. That's it was the, the second following. one. You said that in the last last I, time. I always forget more, if it's no. the first one or the yeah. second one. And it, obviously, this book then goes on to the next level, which is Victor Two, and that's the next stage. And it's obviously a, at a higher level. So it's mm -hmm. something you know you can start there and you can move on to the second one. And yeah. we have at some point we have got to make Victor Three because we've got to finish the story off. Because I don't even know what happens to them. Mm. Yeah. So it's a I nice wonder. story as well. It's a nice story, and it's all based on Victor coming to Spain, um, finding love, and it's a beautiful story. You, you it's the say, hero's you're journey. You're saying too much. Ah, it's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> he finds love. Yeah, it's a beer. Yeah, he finds he finds love in a bar. <laughs> this beer, I love this beer. Okay, entonces chicos, eso es todo. Uh, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.